Hello, David Clark here from DVC Training, and I just thought I'd do a quick video covering the latest updates in EDIUS. My last video was about EDIUS 11.11, .11, where they added in support for using NVIDIA cards to do a lot of extra work. And since then, there's been several updates which have a lot of small bug fixes in them. So this is just going to be a quick summary of some of the more interesting ones. As I make this, EDIUS 11.11.14439 has just been released. But the things I'm going to look at were added in that and a couple of earlier small updates. So first, I'm going to look at a new thing to do with renaming clips in the bin. So I'm going to go through that. And I'm also going to look at this thing, the thing about consolidating projects. In the bin, obviously, the bin was redesigned inside of EDIUS 11. And in the process, some of the things were left out so that you couldn't do them and some of the things were slightly irritating. So it's been improved steadily. It's still missing some of the things that were in EDIUS 10, but a lot have been put back in. In particular, renaming clips has just got a little bit easier with this update. You'll be used to in EDIUS 10 to going to a clip and just clicking on it and then changing the name there. That you can't do in EDIUS 11. To change it, you either have to load up the properties of the clip and change the name there, or you have to go to this properties window, undo the padlock and change the name there, which was just irritating. Now you go to a clip, you press F2, standard keyboard shortcut for renaming, and it does it for you. Opens the padlock, gives you the name and you can name it something. Once you've finished typing, you just press enter and it saves the name. If you don't want to rename the clip, then just press escape and they go back to the original names. Job done. You can also rename lots of clips at once, so I can select those, press F2, call them something as well, and then go somewhere else, and we'll get renamed to whatever you put in there. Now, if for any reason you don't like the new name, press Escape, and they'll go back to what they were originally called. But failing that, just click Enter, and they'll all be renamed with the same name. Now, if you do rename them something and you wish you hadn't, course you can't go back you can't undo in the bin edius doesn't save undo for the bin it only saves it for the timeline but of course you can just press f2 and then rename them something else something as well there we are job done a nice thing as well as if this is collapsed so you notice as soon as i go to another clip it locks itself again if you collapse it then you hit f2 it opens it up goes straight to it so it's got suddenly a lot quicker to rename clips in the bin. You still can't click on there and rename them, but you can get to that easily. You can also change other things. So once I'm in here, I can tab to another field and start typing. Another nice keyboard shortcut they've added is you can get to the search easily. Now, I've got hardly anything in this particular project, so it doesn't really matter. But if I wanted to search through my project, I'd have to open up that and then type some stuff in of what I want to search for. Now you can just press F3 and it automatically goes to there. You can put in a name. So let's look for all the clips with well in, please. And it shows me those clips. It's only looking through whatever folder I'm in at the moment, but there we are. That's got a very quick way of getting to the search, which is F3 again, standard keyboard shortcut for searching. And I did mention something before about the searching. So I'm going to bung in a couple of extra folders and I'm going to make up a couple of extra sequences. Haven't bothered to put anything on them. But with this search function here, Let's collapse that. If I start searching here, it only searches in the root folder. It doesn't search these other folders as well. Now, these other folders have got something in. And a lot of the time, I like to make up a search bin which shows me all of the sequences inside of EDIUS, wherever they are in whatever folder. Again, very small project here, hardly anything in it, but big complicated project, it's very useful to do this. And to do that, what you've actually got to do is, I'm going to open up the search by pressing F3 to search all folders, not just that one, just get rid of that. Now I can choose clip type. Say, let's search for timelines and it searches and brings me all the timelines. If I then want to make a bin, which you can keep in your project all the time and will automatically update when new sequences are added, you click save and it adds in a bin here, which just shows me the timeline. So let's say, if I pop up there and make up a new timeline, now it's added into that. That becomes a live search bin. Pretty similar to what happened in old versions of EDIUS, just a slightly different way of getting at it. And like I say, if you want to search all the folders, you've got to just get rid of the top bit. It kind of thinks 
you're going to want to search in the folder you're looking at at the moment and you're probably going to want to clip with a particular name so it goes straight to that but if you want to say every folder then you have to get rid of the thing at the top so that hasn't changed what has changed is that you can rename with f2 and then you can open up the search with f3 which is nice another nice thing is that when you shut down edius and open the project again it remembers how you left it in all the other versions of edius up to now it's always come back and you've always got the properties window open and that open and i like to frankly have the properties window shut I don't use that much i'll probably use it more i can rename stuff in there but mainly if i'm going to change something about the clip i'll probably go to the normal properties window that's been the same since it's been in edius and put stuff in there so i don't use this thing very much and i don't happen to use the ratings very much other things you can look at markers in here but if i want to look at markers i'll probably go to the marker window but it's nice. It's nice that you can rename stuff quickly. And it is a small change, but then this is really not a major update. This is a small bug fixing update. The other thing that caught my eye in the list of bug fixes is this to do with consolidating projects. Now, consolidating is a thing that's been in EDIUS for years, but I have for years been telling people not to use it. It's where you go to here, say consolidate project, and you've got various ways of backing up your project or cleaning it up or you can make up your own and the idea is you might have a project with stuff all over the place you just want to bring everything you're using into one place or maybe you just want to bring it into one place back it up onto a hard drive so that you can then open it in the future but only using the clips that you've actually used onto the timeline and that's what this thing is for but the big problem i've always had with it is that when you consolidate stuff you generally get it to copy the clips that you're using into a specific folder so you know, if i choose like a cleanup one it just gets rid of stuff but if i say save it into a specific place like here and then tell it to copy the clips that i've actually used which is this option here it would copy them but it would then rename the clips that it's copied now at the moment i haven't actually used any of these clips so i'm just going to bung a couple of them onto the timeline then I'm going to go to consolidate, tell it I'm going to go to a specific folder, tell it to copy the files I've used in there and don't copy anything else and click OK. And it goes off and it makes up a new project. So if I go to where that was actually saved, I've got a new project and I've got a folder that says consolidate. And inside of that, I've got these clips, but it renames the clips with these long names. These are so that every clip has a unique name and it can keep a track of it in inside its database. So it makes sense to EDIUS, it makes no sense to me. But what you'd find in previous versions of EDIUS is that even though it's renamed it and you open the project and it looks like it works, inside the bin, it wouldn't be linking to the renamed file. It would be linking to the original file. So as soon as you took that project off somewhere else, or maybe you open it in six months time on a different computer, it doesn't link up to the clips, which made the consolidate fairly useless. You couldn't be sure it worked unless you took it away, shoved it onto a different hard drive, a different computer, and then opened it up. Or if you did something like an AAF, so you're trying to export it to maybe use it inside of Resolve somewhere, it would mess up as well because it did not link to the correct files after the consolidating. Well, that's what this bug is supposed to have fixed. It changes the names. And as you can see from this one, it is actually linked to the renamed clip. I mean, the clip name itself is still the original name, but it's linked to the renamed clip. So theoretically, that fixes consolidate. Now, I don't want to say it is fixed because I haven't tested it enough. You know, I've literally done a couple of small projects and they have worked. I'm hoping it's fixed, which if it does, wow, that means they've fixed a bug that has been in EDIUS for several versions. I think from since EDIUS... I don't think it worked since EDIUS 5. So if it's done, wow. I don't want to say 100% for sure that it's fixed because I haven't hammered it. And if you try it, I would be very interested what your results are in. Let me know in the comments. The Consolidate obviously has an option here for trimming clips as well. So I can say just leave only the bits used in the timeline, but do be aware that doesn't work a lot of the time. Just like Premiere and all the other programs, it only works on certain types of clips, mainly clips that are made up of files where every frame is a whole frame so something like a dv avi maybe a prores clip but it doesn't work on things like mp4 files 
So my files on the timeline, these are two files from a phone. They are MP4 and I've just trimmed them a bit so they're a bit shorter. I'll say, yeah, just trim it down to the bits used on the timeline, please. And it doesn't do it. So this is the trimmed new project. But if you look at those clips, it's still got all the footage in there. Simply, it cannot trim clips where every frame is made up of bits of other frames. That's not unique to Edius. That's exactly the same as it is in Premiere and stuff like that. But yeah, I would be very interested if people try that out on whether it works for them. A feature that says it's been added in 11.11.14439 is the fact that it will store the export destination in export presets. And you might go to print to file and look at all this and say, OK, where do I tell it what the destination should be? Because the name implies you can take something, save a preset and somewhere in there you could tell it where it should export the clips. That's not how it works. What it actually does is if you go to a recently used preset, if I export something right now, so if I was to export a little bit of this timeline, and if you ever wanted to see what it looks like, that's actually part of my edit for this video. But here I would export something, set some settings, export, choose somewhere to put it, and then it would go and export it. Now, if I go back to print to file and I go to my recently used one, so that's the one I've just used, and I click export, it's going to go to exactly the same place. That's what it means. It's the recently used ones will remember wherever you did it. Let's try that one. Yep, that's where that particular thing was. It doesn't mean you can make up a preset down here and it saves the destination. Or if you set something as a default, it will save the destination. It's literally meaning the recently used ones will remember where you exported out to. Yeah, so this is just a short video simply because they have changed a couple of interesting things in this update. It's not like it's a humongous great update with lots of features, but nice couple of changes in the bin and possibly fixing the consolidate, which I really thought I should share with you. If you want to know more information about EDIUS, then visit my website, www.dvctraining.co.uk. I also have a full tutorial about using EDIUS on my website. The current version includes everything that's in EDIUS 10, but I'm in the process of updating it so that it's relevant to EDIUS 11. That includes some of the bin changes and some of the third party stuff. So I'll let you all know on my Facebook page and so on when that update is complete. Should be in the next couple of weeks or so. And if you get it off me, you'll get a free update to the new one when it's done. And obviously you can get in touch with me, david at dvctraining.co.uk and go to the website where you can order EDIUS and my tutorial. Anyway, hope you found that information useful and I'll see you next time.